Hey everybody, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We're playing the Veritas at Fortitudio uh, mod here, and we're resuming our war against the Golden Horde, and who else is in this battle? Golden Horde in Georgia, who are basically completely conquered at the moment, except for a stretch out in Asia that we, I can't even see. So, yeah, that's totally going on. And then, uh, yeah, looks like Zaro's expanding down there in the south. I don't know what he's involved in this war than for fun and then Gilly Gilly's being Gilly we never know what Gilly's doing I'm vassalizing hmm, seems like a plan so once we clear this battle we're going to sneak attack Lithuania and try and at least chop it down a bit because they are currently in a position where we don't want them to be and they're in a truce with Poland too so they were just in a war so we're gonna try and jump them as soon as we can as soon as we get out of this war. Oh, look at that. Golden Horde pieced out. So that battle's over. Just like that. Time to head back home. Alright, so once we get back, we'll deal with the... Uh... Ooh. Yes, please, I think. Yes. Once we get back, we'll deal with it. Emergency ship construction. Uh-oh. Um, I don't have military power to lose. You can go negative. True. From events. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Um... And we'll build more ships for... Free ish. Not really free, but you know. I have a crap ton of galleys and barks. Which are barks again? Barks are your light warships in this mod. Gotcha. They mm -hmm. also work as transports. And what do galleys do? They're warships for inner, inner seas. Gotcha, but neither of those are for the trade. That's what uh, nope. trade ships are. Yep, and that's the Got it. Got it. Yeah, it's just a lot to remember. Alright, so militarily, I am walking back home. Where am I? Oh, my troops are still here. Call to arms. Uh, against uh, Lithuania. Convenient. It's a defensive war. Uh, Novograd wants to go to war against Sweden. I can't go to war against Sweden. Uh, Brandenburg, Mecklenburg. Oh, Novograd. Why you gotta do this to me? Still at one speed. Is that what we're gonna keep it at? No. Boosting it up here. This is a defensive war against Sweden, Holstein, and Regula, and Mecklenburg. I can't. Got to decline. Sorry. Damn you, Novograd, for getting involved in a war I don't want to be in. Now, I'll have a black flag on my troops until I get back to my territory, or just a friendly territory? Uh, I'm not sure. It might be f just friendly, but I know definitely until you get back to yours. Yeah, that's when it will disappear, but friendly might disappear. Nope. Gotta get all the way back home. Gotta get home before I can do anything. Oh, they might just pull this battle out. I wish I could support them. But being a black flag, I can't do anything till I get home. So 
So I want to let them negotiate for me, correct? I don't want to uh, negotiate outside of it, correct? Because um, if I negotiate outside of it, it's going to not end well for uh, the alliance. It all depends on your um, your war score. Oh, so if I have a high enough war score, I can negotiate and just say whatever. Yep. Guess I need to go on the uh, attack then. Okay, where is my general? He is there. Let's start carving this guy up. Goodbye, Lithuania. Didn't even wait for me to get home before they launched the war, and I was going to launch it on them. What does hire a researcher do? You can research uh, different topics and stuff. It's a weird system. I don't quite understand how it all works. Wow, Livonian Order is just punting around... Uh, Lithuania here. It's great. Of course, the slow sieges can't help that one. Go, go, uh... Whoever's the leader of this war. Oh. Oh, Chernogrov is the leader of the war. Okay. It's against Polstock as well, and your, your something or other, which is that little guy. All right, we'll worry about him later. Right now, more importantly, is Lithuania. All right, finally push it up to three speed. Sorry, didn't even realize it was on two speed still. Yeah, I haven't looked at all at my um, like actual mod stuff, like the improving my reach and control and all that stuff. Haven't even looked at it. Well, I'm losing this war. That was awesome. Somehow I'm getting obliterated, even though I have better general, better stats, better, more troops, and I'm on defensive in mountains. I just don't understand how this combat system even works sometimes. Alright, so apparently my mic muted itself, and, uh, yeah, so, to catch everybody up as to what happened, uh, Lithuania declared war, we went to war, stuff took forever to siege down, Zaro's currently in a war against something. Are you still in the same war against the Golden Horde, or is that a different war? Yeah, I'm also against the Ottomans. Oh, also somehow, against the Ottomans, okay. The Ottomans are ripping through me, even though I outnumber them, and I have the better terrain. I don't understand difference? it. Nope, They're I'm better. Hmm. That's really weird. I, Unless they're getting bonuses. Hidden bonuses of some sort. It's the only thing that would make sense. 
Actually, I'm way ahead of them in tech. Really? I'm you both look at two to them. me, but oh, that doesn't mean anything. I guess no, yeah. I'm at, but I'm Eastern and they're Ottoman. Gotcha. So that's like another level. Eh, at this time, it's about the same. Fair enough. Huh. Strange. But yeah, so minor technical issues aside, really weird, to be honest. Build me a sawmill. Oh look, I'm back with military points already. That was quick. All this stuff going on up here. in this war. I have 19 war score, which is not bad. Hmm. Everyone's war exhaustion is high except mine. Convenient. Come on, Lithuania, get wrecked. Not the black death. Man, I am just pouncing all over stuff over here. Poor Lithuania. I should feel bad, but I don't. Yes. Accelerate the work. Oh, I'm up to uh, tier 5. Soon they shall be mine. I'm just chasing down troops at the moment. This is fantastic. Uh, Black Death. Thanks, Gilly. Yeah, I blame you for this one. Black Death, all over the place. Black Death, Black Death, Black Death. Yeah, I get the same thing. Man, Gilly, stop spreading your diseases over here. We don't want it. Keep your women there, man. Man, I'll do what I can. Oh, man, more disease and death and... Yeah, it spreads like crazy. It spreads like wildfire. Military access from Sweden. I'm going to say sure. National decision available. Um, None, actually. So when do I get my dead gum uh, stability up? More Black Death all over the place. Oh man, I have no idea what half the stuff is. Let's let's go ahead and increase that. I think that happened. Everybody wants military access. I have no idea what's going on. Just so much military access. Because my national stability level is 281 and it's still at negative 1. Wow. I don't understand how the stability level works, so. Yeah, it's something we're, it's we're hidden. all learning. Yeah, like, I have national decisions available, but it's not showing me what. Um, where is this? There we go. That worked. 
We discovered an agent from somewhere. I didn't even pay attention. National decisions still available. Oh, research topics. Let's not notify me of that. Okay. I think that works. I think we're all set on that. There's so much to learn in this mod that I'm just not able to pay attention to. Just a lot going on. Black Death, still. Man, Pomerania, why you gotta be a jerk? You allied with anybody? No, but you're at war against Mecklenburg. Not good. So where is my war score in this? Mine is 32 of all this. Okay. I'm probably gonna get screwed in this deal. Well, let's just hope they give me some good stuff. Go, go, Livonian Order. You shall soon be part of us. One of us. Join us. My goal. My goal. Sorry. <laughs> Wonder how many people are going to get that reference. Probably not enough. Anyway, once this war ends, we'll wrap it up there for this episode. Um, Wow, Hungry. You were attacked by something. Whoa, Zaro. I've gotten completely screwed by the Ottomans non-stop this match. That's I don't understand weird. how I'm losing. I'm a, whole, I'm a tech level ahead of them, or I'm the same now. But they keep bringing out stack after stack after stack of troops. I can't even begin to see what's going on with them. Oh, that's how. Somehow they have a hundred and fifty percent diploma or uh, discipline. Yikes! Well, that's scary. Yeah, I have a hundred and twenty. It's probably so. Give them the oh, no, modifier. I have 112. That's a ridiculous modifier at this tier of the game. Well, keep in mind, they're supposed to be expanding in this time frame, aren't they? Yeah, it still doesn't matter. They ha they'll have that 145% minimum the whole game, then. Unless they have an event that changes it in the AI. I got out of it with just paying gold, so I'll take it. That's not but bad. But I have power. And it wiped out all 16,000 troops I had. Yikes. They were beating my 16,000 troops with 10,000. And I was in mountains with they were getting a negative three to attack me. Really? So, go explain that one to me. Yeah, you got nothing. Or I got nothing. Combat system in this game has turned atrocious in the last couple of patches. Well, this mod did do a lot to help it, at least, resolve it. Yeah. It came a long way from that, I should say. Because it wasn't very good originally. Oh no, it was really good originally, and in every patch it got well, worse and worse I and worse. Well, I this mod helps it bring it back to a more playable yeah. level, I should say. So at least we have that going for us. Man, we're about 100% in this war. I don't know what uh, my ally wants here, or what he's waiting for. Unless he wants to take all this area. Siege is over. Man, we just steamrolled Lithuania. Forty five percent war score. Major setback. Oh no. That's regrettable. Alright, well, hopefully this war ends soon here, and hopefully they carve me out a nice chunk of territory. Seeing as I have half the war score by myself. 
We'll see. Come on, AI, I'm trusting in you. If not, then I'm screwed and I'm gonna have to go back to war against Lithuania at some point, which I don't want to do. Because you know that some other AI is gonna promise them independence or whatever silliness. Of course, I can't do anything with Poland. Someone got their excommunication lifted, which is nice. What yeah. mission do I have? Bologna. Uh, Pomeranian Succession. Oh, that's impossible. I'm not gonna worry about that one. Give me something else. Okay, well, we've... There's gotta... Oh man, if I get screwed out of this deal, I'm gonna be a little upset. I'm trusting in the AI. The AI's actually gotten a lot better. Well, I'm trusting in them to give me territory. Because I'm g giving them the ability to negotiate for us. So we'll yeah, I see. did that one time and they kind of hosed me. They gave me too much territory. Oh, really? Yeah. What, you, what I found out is if you sue for peace and pick what you want and then hit cancel, it gives you what you pick a lot of times. You know what I mean? It's like it knows that's what you want. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, we'll see what happens. Probably going to have to be fighting rebels all day and night, though. That's going to be one major problem. Still at 99%. What's the 100% I'm waiting for is the question. I guess these two territories down here? Perhaps? I don't know. Either which way, we'll find out shortly. Come on, Livonian Order. Become one of us. Man, they'll be boss when that happens. Should improve our democracy with these guys, or improve our relations. That's agricultural boom. Sure. I don't see why not. Two last territories. Come on, we almost got this. So close. So how goes the war in Bavaria, Gilly? What are you up to? Um, uh, not much. Just jumping on little territories while you can? Actually, I'm helping Swift surrender because they just got hammered by somebody. Gotcha. And there we go, 100% war score. Oh, I got nothing out of this, didn't I? I got nothing out of it. Well, they released a lot of assholes, I suppose. Chernograd got massive. That sucks. Yep, I didn't get anything out of it. That's a damn shame. I guess that was supposed to happen, though. But at least now I can beat on Lithuania much easier. I'll have to deal with them later. In the meantime, let's start improving more stuff here. More sawmill. Well, it's only gonna get me one sawmill, not really worth it. Let's see what else I can build here. Workshops. Wow, yes, workshop, please. A lot of money I'm gonna get out of those. Hmm. Visit from shady people. Sure, why not? I don't really use it. Protect against Poland. 
Which is, have an army equal to larger to 18 from Poland? Well, that's impossible. Solidify papal relations. And what is this? Own Kiljay. Oh, that's not going to work out too well, is it? Alright, let's just solidify paper relations, and we will actually probably call it right there for now. Thank you everybody for coming out to this episode of our Let's Play of Europa Universalis. And we will catch you in, as I'm sending a diplomat down here, and we will catch you in the next episode. 